Britain to be town fight for justice for the victims of Sandesh Khali is resonating across all quarters. Celebrated filmmaker and producer Ekta Kapoor has rendered her support to the victims of Sandesh Khali by posting the hashtag stand for Sandesh Khali by tweeting the video of a law student Nabiha Zamam who is urging women to speak up against the horrors perpetuated on the women of Sandesh Khali. In London, members of the Indian diaspora also came together to protest against Sheikh Shah Jahan. They held placards that read, We are watching with shame, West Bengal police, please protect Sandesh Khali and West Bengal. Okay, we have some breaking news coming in. This is TMC General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee who's posted uh, now excerpts from High Court earlier, uh, which is the order in the Sheikh Shah Jahan case, which basically state that West Bengal State Police shall also be restrained from proceeding with investigation in the case which have been registered by them. Abhishek Banerjee says, and I quote, BJP and anti-Bengal media repeated the true or they have basically uh, been trying to uh, reap the benefits uh, of the so-called embargo like opportunist and he is also hit out uh, at the uh, BJP saying and using the term chronology saying that uh, there was a stay and uh, again once again repeating the so-called uh, vilification charge which the TMC has been making. Uh, so, um, Aditi is joining us uh, on the broadcast. Uh, Aditi, uh, TMC General Se uh, Secretary Abhishek Banerjee once ag again uh, seems to be repeating uh, the same type of attack, uh, crying vilification by uh, the BJP and also saying that some parts uh, of the Calcutta High Court order, according to him, had not been highlighted. Take us through his entire statement, first of all. Well, exactly. And let's go over the statement. He says BJP and anti-Bengal media reaped the benefits of this embargo like true opportunists. Chronology. Stay given on 7th. Violence and vilification began the following day on 8th. With yesterday's clarifications from Calcutta High Court, I am confident justice will soon prevail. And this is the court copy that he has put out with the social media post. And in the court copy, it states, Therefore, till the appeals are heard and disposed of, and orders and directions issued by the learned single bench in the impugned order dated 17th Jan shall remain stayed until further orders. Consequently, this and this is disposed of. It goes without saying that West Bengal State Police shall also be restricted from proceeding with the investigation in the cases which have been registered by them. So a strong defense coming in from the TMC. All right, Aditi, thank you for taking us uh, through that reaction. So it's very interesting that despite the High Court giving a clarification that there was no stay, it looks like TMC is continuing with the same type of attacks when it comes to the BJP. In fact, uh, we have, of course, uh, some more news coming in. That is, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Vishnu Singh uh, Diosai has also written to the Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee and he sought justice for the victims of Sandesh Khali. In this letter, he says, and I quote, tribal women of Sandesh Khali have complained of harassment and torture. Scheduled caste panel's report on Sandesh Khali is horrifying for politics of appeasement and for votes puts the life or rather putting the life of tribals at risk is unacceptable. He also says that Mamta must act against Shah Jahan and his political masters. Okay, so that's very interesting that uh, we are seeing, of course, uh, the chief minister of another state weighed into the uh, controversy. You have, of course, uh, the BJP, which has anyway been firing pot shots at the Mamta government. And now you have the Chhattisgarh chief minister, Vishnu Deosai, who has waded in the row. He has written to the Bengal chief minister, Mamta Banerjee. Basically, uh, he has highlighted the plight of the tribal victims of Sandesh Khali because the state he comes from, the state he's representing, Chhattisgarh also has a large tribal population. So he's basically basically said, and I'm quoting from this letter, he says, and I quote, tribal women of Sandesh Khali have complained of harassment and torture. The scheduled caste panel's report on Sandesh Khali is horrifying for politics of appeasement and for votes, and it is putting the lives of tribals at risk that he says is unacceptable. He also says that Mamta needs to act against Shah Jahan and his political masters at the earliest. That's the latest uh, news uh, coming in. So support, of course, uh, for the victims uh, seems to be growing. In fact, BJP has also fired a fresh charge against TMC government. BJP's Amit Malviya says, and I quote, that on the instructions of Mamta Banerjee, West Bengal police is arresting common people and BJP karyakartas who are protesting crime against women of Sandesh Khali under random and non-bailable sections. We will fight high-handedness, but where is Sheikh Shah Jahan? 
this is testimony that Shah Jaha is actually the Bacha of the Trinamool Congress. He is being protected and saved, just like the Bacha is saved in the game of chess by the Trinamool Congress. 50 days plus, Trinamool Congress government and its police has been unable to catch Shah Jaha, but they can catch journalists who are reporting on Sandesh Kali, they can catch the fact-finding team which is trying to reach Sandesh Kali, they can catch MPs like Lockett Chatterjee, they can beat up Sukanta Majumdar, they can harass Karikartas, they can shame the victims, but they cannot catch Shah Jahashay. And Kunal Ghosh's statement makes it amply clear that Trinamool Congress has actually kept him in a safe location. Mr. Shah Jahashay evidently is enjoying a lot of support from the Trinamool Congress and its administration in West Bengal. The very fact that he is not traceable confirms that somewhere or the other, the police is not being permitted to do its job. The Honorable High Court has made it clear that there is no protection on him. So there is nothing that prevents his arrest. जब संदेश काली की घटना हुई हुई थी तो विपक्ष के लोग केवल देखने जाना चाहते थे और जाना भी चाहिए और वहां से सूचना इकट्ठा करते कि कौन दोषी है कौन नहीं है उनको प्रतिबंधित कर दिया जिसके वजह से मामला बहुत बड़ा हो गया और राष्ट्रीय राष्ट्रीय स्तर का मुद्दा हो गया है और लीडर अपोजिशन आधी रंजन जी भी जाना चाहते थे उनको भी रोका ऐसी क्या बात है वहाँ छुपाने की और अब तो साजहाँ को वो तो पेश करना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि दबाव इतना अधिक हो गया है अब ये ये बहाने नहीं चलेगा Coming in, uh, this is West Bengal government has now moved Calcutta High Court for seeking permission to file an FIR against Suvindu Adhikari for making provocative comments on the Sandesh Khali incident. The matter has been raised in the Justice J. Sen Gupta's bench, which will now uh, be hearing it virtually today. So that's the latest coming in. Adrija is joining us live on the broadcast. Adrija, West Bengal government has uh, now moved uh, the Calcutta High Court. They're seeking a permission to file an FIR against Suvindu Adhikari. They claim that he's been making some provocative claims. Uh, statements. Take us through the petition uh, which the TMC government has filed. Well, you see, uh, the state government have moved to Calcutta High Court seeking permission because Shubhendu Dikari have a protection uh, given by the same co given by the Calcutta High Court in his name that no FIRs, you know, can be filed against him, and therefore uh, the state government have moved to Calcutta High Court seeking permission because what the uh, state government claims that Shubhendu Dikari on various occasions, even while he was in Sandesh Khali, we know earlier he was allowed to visit in Sandesh Khali. While he was in Sandesh Khali, he have made certain provocative comments. Against, uh, against which the people, he was trying to uh, create an agitation among the people of Sandesh Khali and therefore the uh, state government uh, wants to file an fire against him, against his name and that's why they have moved to Calcutta High Court in J Justice Jai Sangupta's chamber asking, seeking for permission uh, to be given so that an fire can be registered against uh, the leader of opposition, Shubhendu Dikari. All right, uh, Azrija, why don't you stay with us? We have, of course, more updates coming in because the Bengal governor, C.V. Ananda Bose, also has asked the TMC government to arrest Sheikh Shah Jahan immediately and said that if they don't do it, they'll have to submit a report stating the reasons why they couldn't arrest him in the next 72 hours. Meanwhile, ISF MLA Noshad Siddiqui, who was en route to Sandesh Khali today, was stopped by the police and now is being arrested. Noshad Siddiqui was arrested from the science city. He wanted to meet the victims of Sandesh Khali. <laughs> all right, uh, Sandesh Khali showdown continues to, to soar. Uh, the governor also demanding a report in 72 hours if Sheikh Shah Jahan is not arrested.